We want to be respected regardless of our financial situation. For consumers with limited means, buying products from expensive brands provides a sense of social recognition and status. They believe that by owning these luxury items, it will make others see them as successful, boosting their self-esteem, and making them feel like they belong to a certain social circle. When you're poor, you want to buy designer and luxury brands to show your peers and families that you have status. But the bitter irony is you can't become wealthy by spending on status items like these. God forbid you finance a new car. We face financial challenges every day. Phone bill, DoorDash, Wi-Fi, car payment, student loans, treating ourselves and others to luxury items as a form of gratification. But the dopamine hit individuals get from purchasing these high-end items outweighs the rationality of their decision, giving them a brief mesmerizing experience from their financial struggle. Marketing corporations encourage us to make impulsive purchases, they assign special value to these products, especially on holidays. Buying luxury products from expensive brands can provide a temporary sense of joy, happiness, and boost self-esteem. So this scarf is $2,000. This coat, $3,000. These shoes, high-end jewelry, more expensive clothing from high-end brands, luxury cars. People wrote an article saying how Luxury cars are the number one wealth killer in America. A lot of successful people drive unimpressive cars. Besides the price, what's so special about these high-end products? The answer is in our human nature, ego. We want to be perceived as high status with what we wear and flaunt. But the reality is that these high-end products are keeping you poor. Morgan Housel is the author of The Psychology of Money. He says, saving money is the gap between your ego and your income. Wealth is created by suppressing what you could buy today in order to have more stuff or options in the future. He believes that spending more than the minimum of what is needed is just a reflection of ego, a way to show people that you have or had money. The quickest way to increase your savings isn't about raising your income, but rather raising your humility. You can spend less if you desire less, and you will desire less if you care less what others think about you. So most people think that their income minus expenses equals their savings. But Morgan Housel says that your income minus your ego is what equals savings. Being frugal doesn't mean depriving yourself. The point of being frugal is to allocate your resources to things that are actually more important to you. Real wealthy people are frugal and don't like to wear designer labels. In your effort to show people that you have money, you are actually giving them signs that you don't. Giant corporations make it appealing to make these purchases. They market these products with special value. Look around your room. Are there things that you bought on impulse? I remember going to an anime convention and thinking I was only going to spend $50 to $100. I ended up spending over $800 bucks on plushies, shirts, hoodies, souvenirs, and anime figures. I don't even use anymore. Hopefully this video has helped you in thinking twice about spending money on unnecessary luxury goods with the sole purpose of impressing other people. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.